Welcome, everyone, to episode 121 of One Hour, One Decision, 1H1D. I am Chris. And I am Tom. And we take 60 minutes and play a random game on Xbox Game Pass and decide, well, are shooting Nazis a good time? You know, or has it been done a few times already? (laughs) Yes. In this episode, we're going to be talking about Wolfenstein Youngblood by machine games i thought they were always called machine gun games but they're just machine games but they are now an xbox studio or microsoft studio so and this game came out back in july of 2019 and i played this on the pc it was 42.9 gigabytes on the pc tom what about you Look at that cost savings Uh, save a whole gig by playing it on the series s uh 41.9 well done. Well done, Machine Games. So, yeah. What kind of game is this? Golly gee, Chris, could this be a first-person shooter? <laughs> I think you're right. I think it is a first-person shooter. I didn't see anything else different, but we could we can get into that a little bit. But what about that game loop? All right. I put navigate levels with your twin sister killing Nazis to advance that plot. Yeah. That's a lot more descriptive than what I wrote. I put shoot Nazis over and over. I mean, yes. <laughs> <laughs> there is there but, is a plot, I, I guess. So, yeah. The, and shooting Nazis over and over is also the plot of the original Wolfenstein game. Right, right, right. And uh, just, just to get everyone up to speed here, this is actually, I believe it was an add-on. It wasn't a full game when it came out but it was like i don't know if you remember far far cry did like those one-off games yeah i think this is in a similar similar vein of of that where it's like kind of like a spin-off but not really a full-fledged game this is like a 40 dollars game when it first came out but you know everyone was really excited because i think machine games did a great job with re introducing everyone to the wolfenstein franchise because you know BJ Blasco was it was it was a fun time, uh, you know, that that the whole that whole like the two games that came out before this. But let's talk about this game though. What did yes. we like about this game? Uh, I liked that the character customization was very uh, quick and simple, but still yeah. pretty pretty thorough. Uh, you know, character customization for me can be a, a real big problem, yeah, but this one was like. Up. Do you like vanilla or chocolate? Okay. Right. Now, what what toppings do you want to add? This or this? Or do you, like it yeah. was like walking down the the burrito bar at a Chipotle. It's like right. what do you, what do you want to put on here? This this that that, and it's so uh, hopefully very not smoothly. as mu- not as pressure though, not as much pressure as the lunch line normally is for for going to Chipotle. Uh, I guess it's a, there's nobody behind me here, so <laughs> yeah. yeah, I have a little bit more time to decide. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Uh, and I agree with you because there was, I mean, it gave you a little bit of uh, like feeling that you had some sort of control over this, uh, over what you're, how you're playing this game. But what I thought was interesting was that there was no difficulty slider or whatever at the beginning of the game. Oh yeah. That's interesting. I didn't notice that. That yeah. was not there. So that was, that was uh, something because, you know, Wolfenstein, Doom, all of them had that, yeah. they, they had fun with the, the you know the sliders of sorts and maybe not really a slider but like just the difficulty is like hey you know do you want it to be really difficult or do you want it to be really easy and casual you know so yeah i don't know i was that was surprising about that but um for me it was you know it's a co-op game it, it, is, it is basically a co-op game through and through uh whether you want to play it though as they they actually kind of force you to play it's co-op it almost feels like a a secondary option to play it as a single player game, but it is possible. And that's what both you and I did. We did play it um, solo. So that was, that was interesting. And um, what else, what else, what else else did you like about this game? Uh, I liked the intro a lot. Mm -hmm. I liked the, the parallel training stories. So Mm. presumably depending on which sister you pick, you get a different intro. Yeah. Uh, Because I was playing as the sister that I picked. Who did you pick? Uh, the the dark haired girl. Oh, I picked the same one. Dang, I should have asked you before beforehand. Oh well, it's okay. uh, but you know, uh, 
it's very clear that you made that choice and picked that sister. And so as a consequence, you know, you're, you're doing that training and whatever, mm-hmm. and your sister's over there doing a different kind of training. Right. So, uh, it definitely feels to me like, you know, that would be different based on who you picked. Right. Um, right. I like, uh, the comedy of it. I mean, it is pretty ridiculous as a premise. Yeah. Um, there's, you know, it's, it's funny in the dialogue, the plot's ridiculous, you know, the, the banter between the enemies is silly. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I had, I, it was fun, you know, mm-hmm. which, which I think is important because as I've said, you know, the idea of just like going around shooting a bunch of Nazis, like how many games is this, you know, right. your, your, yeah. your game loop could go for like so many possible games absolutely yeah it's done it's been done tried and true for quite some time and but i i I mean going back to like some of the stuff that i enjoyed with uh sure from from the gameplay perspective i did like that the stealth kills were were satisfying when you can pull them off and um i they hit it but the fact that in the menus you can change your difficulty on the fly. I don't know why they didn't like kind of have that up front. It was kind of weird, but so be it. And I thought also going back to your your um, point about the, the parallel training stories, I thought the I thought the uh, the cutscenes were actually pretty pretty well done in terms of like just visually and and all that stuff. Like I we didn't I didn't have that issue. Where like the the mouths were out of sync with the actual dialogue and right. stuff like that, so it was it was good. It was good in that sense. Um, uh, obviously, like you said, this is a co op game, so like there was some interesting mechanics, and I think you you kind of touched on this in your notes here. Uh, yes, that you wanted to bring up uh, two things. I think the the co op mechanics you have like a shared life situation. Mm-hmm. Uh, there, there are boosts that you can give each other. Uh, right. There's the, the banter between the girls, I think, is ent- entertaining. Uh, like, it really feels like a, like a co-op experience, even though I was playing it by myself. Like, yeah. this, this AI companion that I had really kind of filled the role of a second player, in, hmm. for me, in, in a good way. Uh, I think the mechanics, uh, especially since there are quite a few of them, they're explained at a good rate, in, yeah. you know, in the tutorial. Sometimes you feel bombarded by this. I did not feel bombarded. Um, I think part of what helped there is that also I felt like the controls were pretty intuitive and Mm. worked on the controller. Uh, I didn't have any kind of... Some games, I pick up the controller and things aren't quite where I expect them to be and that messes me up. This this I felt very uh, at home, very natural uh, to play this on the controller. Yeah, I, I... Uh, it's funny enough. I preferred also to play this on uh, on, on my controller overall because I did swap in between. The one thing, and it might be just because of the way my um, my setup is on the mouse and keyboard. You know, it worked fine on mouse and keyboard. Don't get me wrong, but uh, the stealth kill option was middle mouse button, oh, which for awkward. some reason doesn't work on my mouse. Huh. I've tried it on anything, everything. And it doesn't work. So I'm like, okay, well, let me go back to the uh, controller. And, you know, that worked nine times out of ten. So mm. I was happy with that. And um, I want to say, like, I was I was glad that we got to a boss. I, at least I got to a boss fight. And I'm. did you get to that boss fight yeah, as well? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So getting to that boss fight in the first hour was great because, you know, it changes things up. Because I felt there, there was there – was, you know, just just to get that kind of variety in the game, so yes. that was that was neat. That was neat to get that boss uh, boss fight in there, and it kind of gets me intrigued about the potential of other boss fights that are going to be thrown out in here in the game. So, yeah, uh, I I also want to say quickly, I enjoyed uh, the automatic pickups of things, mm. uh, health, ammo. It reminded me of playing the original Wolfenstein, where you just needed to get kind of close to something and you just right. automatically grabbed it. Um, it allows you, uh, unsurprisingly to focus on the people who are shooting at you. Right. Uh, so that, that works out really well in this kind of game where you are surrounded 
you know, out, outmanned and outgunned mm. the, the, basically the whole time. Right. Right. Okay. Anything else here or shall we? Uh, I've said everything that I liked about this. I am ready to talk about the things that I did not like. Okay. So why don't we get started? Go ahead, Tom. Okay. Well, right away there was like a, a the, the game was kind of dark mm. and I was like, it it didn't last long, I'll admit, but I, I took it, I wrote it down because, uh, no, I just don't want to play games in the dark. Like, mm-hmm. I'm past that. Like, right. Let's have some well lit confusion. Yep. It's like you're hiding. What, what are you hiding? Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. And I, but, oh, actually, I guess going back to the, the likes here, I did think, even though there was, you know, there, there are dark parts of this game, um, the flashlight looked pretty good. Oh, he did. Yes. Flasher is a pretty cool mechanic. I, I'm like, I mean, it felt like a like a real flashlight versus just like a beam of fake light that was thrown around. I don't, I don't know how to how else to explain, it, but it just it just felt like a real flashlight versus the stuff that we've seen in our time with yeah. flashlights in video games. But yeah, um, I want to say, I, I, even though this game is is pegged as a co op game i -hmm. felt like the the co-op mechanics were kind of lame minus the shared health thing like everything else was just kind of like hey help me lift this door hey help me pull this lever it was like it just it seemed very eh, like i've seen this before like i felt like i felt like that game army of two which Mm -hmm. is way back when in the 360 area had some better ways of approaching co-op and that's that's you know how how many years at this point yeah, <laughs> yeah. since that game's come out and <clears throat> yeah like it was that that's that was kind of um, disappointing to me and I know you said it was a positive for you about the comedy and stuff like that and again like don't get me wrong like the Wolfenstein series is ridiculous as is but these sisters seemed too much like bros in this. I don't know they're, if you got that. They're raised by the guy who killed <laughs> Hitler. What do you yeah, think they're going to be like? I mean, no, don't get me wrong. I don't I don't expect them to be like running around in like some sort of pretty dress or something like that. But at the same time, like it, there was just a lot of like something about the dialogue just didn't make sense. Like, for example, the fact that at the beginning you like they're they're hunting and they're doing stuff like that. And they, they've 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 killed before. Okay, they haven't killed a maybe they haven't killed a human. But when when that happened, yes. like the girl throws up, and she's like, "Oh my god, this is so awesome!" It's like, wait a minute, you're just you're just complaining about like, oh, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do this. So it was like, there's just it just felt disjointed in that way. Um, and 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 then the fact that you know the, uh, they steal a helicopter and no one goes after them, it's like, okay. This is the resistance. Like, what, what's going on? Like, what, what is happening here? No one could pick up a phone and be like, "Hey, these girls are here. Like, please take them home." I don't know what they're doing. It's very weird, but so so be it. What about you, Tom? What else did you not like? Uh, I want to piggyback on you. Uh, the story is told out of order, and mm. that drives me crazy <laughs> yeah. when you do that. Uh, there's a lot of time lost in cutscenes. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot so, of cutscenes. So if if you don't like watching a movie, uh you probably ain't going to like this. Mm-hmm. Uh and there are more than, you know, this is a spin-off as you said, yep. and it's it's deep in the spin-offs. It's not like the second game they made. Mm-hmm. Um and you could tell. Like it definitely feels like lots of stuff has happened and mm-hmm. the game is trying in the beginning to try to catch you up on all this stuff. Uh, some games do this better than others. Uh, this yeah. is a game that doesn't do it so well <laughs> where it, it's sort of like, yeah. And, and then this happened and this happened and you're like, Oh, what? and then like you're off on an adventure and it just feels very like I'm missing out on, on a bunch of stuff. I felt, mm-hmm. feel like I, I needed a better recap of where I was right. in the story and what was right. going on. Right. But if it was supposed to be as, you know, a, a DLC or something that makes a lot more sense. Right. Yeah. Right, right. Um, uh, as opposed to a standalone game, yeah, uh, it reminds me of uh, you know Uncharted did that with mm. the uh, yeah. Did they, did they do that four? once or twice? Once at uh, least, where, okay. where they had the spinoff with the the two women. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh yes, 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 yes. 
and that was going to be DLC, but then it ended up being a standalone game. So I, that's I could probably see what that. happened here. Yeah, they're just like, eh, you know, why not? So, all right, yeah. cool. Uh, I, I, you, you put, you touched on this too. The game definitely did feel easy. Yeah. It was like oddly easy. I was like, wait, where is the difficulty? Happening? Yeah, especially since you don't pick what your difficulty is. Right. And it sets you off basically on what they considered normal. Yeah. I was like, this felt, it felt very easy to me. It felt like there was no challenge up until I got to the boss fight. <laughs> then I got like trounced. Right. And right. I was like, oh, okay, there's, there's the difficulty. Um, but then the second time I played through the boss fight, I didn't change my difficulty at all. Uh, mm-hmm. so, so I was still at normal. I didn't really have an issue the second time. I think okay. I just needed a little bit of a wake up call. You stop being so reckless, basically. Right. right. Take these, some these cover. Are, and, right. I mean, these these are the kind of games that I feel like they want you to just go into the front lines and just go crazy. But, you know, I, I guess. And that, you can for most yeah, of it. Yeah. I, I think I think a lot of times. um that could be a negative for me too. It's like, especially if, it, if it's if a game is going in a particular, you know, difficulty and then all of a sudden there's a huge spike. It's like, come on, like give me some sort of prep beforehand for something like this, just so that it's, it's not as like frustrating for me. Yeah. Actually, uh, I got that. I got to that part after the boss, like, cause there was okay. like these like super soldiers or whatnot. Yeah. And they were just like pummeling you and like, what the heck is going on? Like it was, and I think I lost a bunch of shared health during my boss fight, but I didn't regain it at that point. So it was it, it was a, more of a challenge for sure. And yeah, like the the funny thing is, this game does have some melee. Like you can attack people with a with basically your knife or an axe. I picked the knife, and it just felt really lame. Like I thought I, it was uh-huh. weird. Like that the melee felt lame outside of like doing those like um stealth yeah. kills and also i didn't i didn't feel like the gunplay itself wasn't as satisfying as i thought it would be it, there was something about it, like you know you had your reticle that was just basically like just two parentheses mm-hmm. and then yeah of course of course you could uh iron sight or whatever but it's like i don't know it was just everyone was just kind of on the same plane it just it was just a matter of you mowing down as many people in front of you. And that was like, okay. They added a couple of things here and there where it was like, well, you can use a particular type of bullet that would take down the type of shield and stuff like that, which was okay. And I guess it adds, but like, but really, if you just put enough bullets into someone, they will go down. That, that right. was like basically what happened. And so I was like, okay, like it didn't. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I, 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 it seems like you were fine with how the game, the gunplay felt for you. But. Yeah, I, I was, I was comfy. Uh, but I like spray and pray. Like I like just <laughs> emptying clips into enemies. Like that's fun for me. Right. Uh, if you want to play a much more tactical way, I guess you need to make this game much harder. You need to, mm. you need to change the difficulty. Yeah. Because true. on normal, you can just unload your your weapons i never was like out of ammunition right. i was never in a in a place where i was like in trouble until i yeah. was fighting the boss and i was fighting the boss the same way that i was trying to fight all the regular enemies and that's where i ran into the problem anything anything else that you dislike chris um well for me there was one other thing here uh yeah the coins what was i what were you collecting coins for i mean i'm sure they, they'll they'll explain it but it was it was a little confusing for me to you know keep collecting these coins i I felt like i i had a a mother load of coins but i didn't know what i was doing with them so um, i i don't know what they're for either so yeah i'm i'm guessing there's some sort of upgrade system and stuff like that so but so be it but yeah that's that's what i got for my dislikes uh what about any other thoughts for you tom uh, you touched on it earlier and I do think it bears mentioning uh, mm-hmm. once again, which is this game. This is a game that's definitely designed to be played co-op. Both of us play this with the AI companions. Um, it reminds me a lot of army of two mm-hmm. or 50 cent blood in the sand, which is I a game I love. Game. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Like it's so good. Yeah. It has, it, it shouldn't be as good as it is, 
it, it's but it's good um mm. and as just like those games uh this game would be better played mm. with a friend yeah true it's a so. it's a game designed to be played with another person yeah uh i think the they, ai hand i think the ai handled it well yeah and i prefer to play generally single player so <laughs> i i think it was fine for me but you right know. I um I think they had a I don't know if it was a promotion or whatnot like during when they were first selling this game you could have a buddy pass so yes I heard about like, that yeah kind of like a way out or these other co op games that um, that have come out recently where you can just you only one person has to buy it and the other person can just share their code with them to play yeah. which is cool a cool idea uh, how long to beat says this game takes about nine hours to complete. So not a very long game. That might be also why a lot of people were like, what the heck is this? But yeah, uh, but but I, again, I play this on PC and there is no cross play or cross pos- progression to Xbox players. So uh, keep that in mind. No, and uh, I don't believe there's a uh, I didn't see a cloud option either. OK, so, you know, take it or leave it. But. Speaking of which, is this a game that we are going to be keep playing? Are we going to keep playing or, you know, cast it aside with all the other piles of bodies that we've done here? Well, but before we get to that, I do want to thank our sponsor, cdkeys.com for, you know, supporting the show. And you guys can support the show by checking out all the cool stuff the CD Keys has on their website. You can get discounts on Game Pass subscriptions. So that's always pretty cool. So you can play games with us and stuff like that. And of course, they always got the latest and greatest of games, not only for PC, but for Xbox, PlayStation, all that good stuff. So check out our link down below in the video or in our podcast description. So there you go. Anyway, Tom. Yes, you interrupted me, and I was going to tell you that my hour went by very quickly, uh, and I think the game was fun to play. Hmm. But uh, I play pretty much everything by myself. I'm a solo game player. Right. Uh, this game is not meant for me. Um, I would, however, recommend it to two friends who have Game Pass and want to play together because I think it would be a fun time. Yeah. Um, I had fun playing it but not enough fun to play it for another eight hours. Right. Okay. Well, I'm going to say, because I heard a lot of people, I mean, we had Nick on the show that was basically like, oh man, good luck. Uh, I didn't think it was as bad as people were saying. I mean, although I'm sure maybe as, as the story and the game progresses, there could be even more cringy dialogue and and stuff like that that happens, you know, so be it. But um, but I'm still probably going to put this down. I'm probably say no for this game because, uh, you know, I, I think I got the gist of the game. And but if, you know, if someone ever wants to play, I'm, I'm down to try it out again and finish the other eight hours if they want to. If, if someone has a hankering for Wolfenstein Youngblood in, in, in terms of other things here. But anyway. Those are our thoughts. Let us know what you think of this game. Follow us and say hello on Twitter at TC1H1D or shoot us an email at TC1H1D at Outlook.com. Check out our streams on Twitch at twitch.tv slash 1H1D. And hey, if you want to send us a comment down below, other than maybe something about Kirby, post it on our YouTube. We'll, we'll try to respond to it as best as we can. 1H1D is part of that QTB network. And if you like gaming content, not just videos and, and podcasts like this but we got some blog stuff and uh all this other it's streaming as well uh check out the whole lineup uh, check out the whole lineup at quit the slash network so lots lots of good stuff on there but there is one other piece of good stuff we gotta lock in before we move on we do and that is finding out what we're playing next that surprise me button is going to help us again so here we go Okay. Are you surprised? I mean, well, it's another first-person shooter. Battlefield 1 Revolution. Uh, I have played Battlefields, but I have not played that one Battlefield. No, no, neither have I. So we're going to be talking about that on our next episode. So thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. And we will catch you on the next one. Thanks, everybody. 